Welcome to the Nova Armada channel. Hello to my loyal subscribers and my future subscribers. Today's aircraft is the United Parcel Service McDonnell Douglas MD-11F, wearing the 1990s era brown cheat line and tail livery that UPS was known for at the time. Please watch to the end to see this aircraft's full history. This MD-11 was initially delivered to Brazil's Avasp Airlines from the McDonnell Douglas factory in Long Beach, California on January 20th of 1996. Powered by three General Electric CF6 series high bypass turbofans, producing up to 61,500 pounds force or 274 kilonewtons at full power. At this point in the airliner's history, the aircraft was painted in vast livery that consisted of a light blue jeet line along the windows and a light blue tail. While flying for VASP, this MD-11 wore markings celebrating the 500th anniversary of the European discovery of Brazil. While carrying passengers, this aircraft carried anywhere from 298 to 410 passengers, depending on layout and class structure of the seating. At this time, the aircraft was registered as Papa Papa Dash Sierra Papa Lima, and would remain so until returned to the United States for cargo conversion. During the years 2000 to 2001, the aircraft was sent for conversion into a cargo carrying airplane. At the beginning of 2001, this particular airplane was acquired through lease by United Parcel Service, otherwise known as UPS. In this configuration, the aircraft is set to carry 202,733 pounds or 91,962 kilograms of cargo in its internal hold. The aircraft had UPS's 1990s era brown cheat line and tail and was re-registered as November 250 Uniform Papa. In early 2005, the aircraft was repainted in the modern brown tail white fuselage livery that UPS carries on its aircraft to this day in 2023. Depending on a number of factors like weight and payload arrangement, this aircraft can cruise up to 507 knots or 940 kilometers an hour with a range of around 3,600 nautical miles or 6,700 kilometers to and from points all over the world. The video on screen now is a 1-400 scale model produced by a company called Gemini Jets in 2002. As can be seen here, there have been two production runs of this aircraft in 1-400 scale, both by Gemini Jets, with the other one being produced in 2003. For any enterprise that is interested, this channel is available for advertising for your company. This opportunity is available for all reputable North American companies. Please contact me at the shown email address for details. This channel survives with you, the viewer, and your ongoing support. The more you watch my videos from start to finish helps me get a larger distribution on YouTube, which helps bring in more subscribers that will then repeat this process. If you like what you've seen, hit those like buttons and spread the word. We've enjoyed making this video and we hope you've had fun watching it. Thank you and good day.